In the Exercise Files folder, you'll find the CRUD application and the SID application and a folder called SQL that includes these files. These three files contain the definitions and the data for these three databases, the Album, Test, and World databases. And let's go ahead and take a look at the databases themselves. The World database contains this country table which has a lot of information on 239 different countries around the world. And it has a city table with over 4,000 rows of data on over 4,000 different cities in different countries and districts around the world. So this is a lot of fun and it's very useful for working with some larger amounts of data. The album database includes albums and tracks from a few different albums. And this is the database that's used by the CRUD application that we'll be using in the course and is also included in the exercise files. Finally, the test database includes a simple customer sales database, not a lot of data in it, but it's useful for inserting and deleting and testing silly test data. Most of the SQL that we show here in this course is what I call platform agnostic SQL wherever possible. That means that the examples here will generally work no matter what DBMS you're using. Of course, there are significant differences between database management systems. So there will be differences and there will be some code that will need to change in order to work on something other than MySQL. The examples here are demonstrated with the MySQL database management system, but the knowledge should apply to any SQL database.